Hi everyone and welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. This is um, a tutorial on a really lovely painting that um, an image that I saw online that I really really liked. It's this beautiful um, dark blue lantern and it has like a lovely tree with little blossoms on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so we are going to um, put our own spin on this and um, have a really lovely time uh, replicating ish this um, using this as our source of inspiration so we can um, make a really lovely image from it so as always you want to have your canvas um, today I'm using this canvas um, paper pad that I have it is um, Frederick's canvas pad it's 12 by 16 is the size so it's a really good size um, and I use this for my last painting I did um, and I found that um, I really like the portability of it um, and it just uh, the quality of the paper is amazing um, but if you're using this type of paper you don't want to use as much water as you would normally use on like a canvas it doesn't really soak it up and, and it kind of tends to drip a bit more so just my um, experience with that so far um, and then I have our main go-to colors so we have our blue red and yellow and we have our black and white and the, these ones I have are called Crafters Acrylic by Deco Art, and I got them all from our Dollarama store here um, in Ajax. So just local Dollarama. I also have a cloth that I can um, basically uh, rinse, not rinse out, but like dry off my brush whenever I'm changing paint colors. Um, I have three sizes of paint brushes. So I got a thin, a medium, and a thicker one. I have some water in my paint container here that I use for my paints. And I have my really lovely messy um, palette that I really enjoy using. And I tend to clean it up a bit, but I kind of enjoy crazy paint mess that it's making on it. So I, I let it continue being crazy. All right. So for this image, um, it's it's really pretty. So um, it's a lot of dark blues. Uh, we're gonna be using a lot of blue. It doesn't look like we're gonna have any red in this painting. Um, it's be, be blue, black, and white are going to be your main ones. Um, you may want to put some red if you want to add some purple to the sky. I think I'm going to do that because I really like um, the, the difference, uh, the patterns that will come out of that. So I'm going to start off by putting like quite a bit of blue on my um, canvas here. I'm then going to put on a little bit of black. Remember with black, a little goes a very long way. So you don't want to put too much black ever. Always go with way less than you think you'll need and then add like little by little because it is so powerful. Um, and I'm doing kind of the opposite with um, the white. I usually use quite a bit of white. Um, this one is darker so I am going to be trying to make like a darker um, blue out of this um, and then I'm adding um, a little bit of yellow. I'm not going to be going right to my yellow right away so I don't want to do that right off the hop. So the first thing with this painting is um, like all paintings we're going to get a nice back drop and kind of cover the whole canvas um, with the background color. Um, this one's like a really nice dark rich blue. Um, so we're going to start with that. Uh, I'm going to use my big fat brush here. I'm going to start off by wetting it in the water, um, taking off some of the excess, just get all the bristles nice and uh, wet. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of black and I'm going to mix, bring some black and bring some of the blue over. And they're gonna have a little bit of a party in here. And what I'm doing is I'm just like pulling them from either side. Okay. So I have like a really dark midnight kind of color here. And it's watered down a little bit. And we're gonna start just putting it on. On this particular painting, um, what we see is the lantern is in the center about here. So I'm not going to apply really, really dark paint in there. I'm going to keep the dark around the edges. Um, basically that's where your light source is emanating from. So everywhere else on the corners is going to be darker and you're going to bring it in lighter, like lighter blues as you get closer to the light source. So let's keep that in mind as we're going. So let's start here. I need to put this palette down because I need my hand to be on the canvas sometimes. Okay, so when I'm filling this background, I am just trying to get paint all over the canvas 
And with this particular background, I want it to be like a kind of a, a kind of a wash. Um, so I'm just putting in a bit of a lighter blue on here. Um, just kind of going back and forth between the color that I made and um, the pure blue that came from my bottle. I just want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing all right. And now I'm just adding a little bit of water. Um, now whenever you put some water on your acrylic, acrylic is a water-based paint. Um, so I'm trying to be cognizant of the fact that this paper I'm still not fully used to it, so I don't want to add a heck of a lot. Okay, so I'm just using my paintbrush. So we're keeping it a little bit darker. Um, as I'm getting closer to this middle zone, I'm keeping it lighter. I'm still going to go over it and kind of put like a very light wash. I'm actually putting some white just to bring it down and more water. I put a little bit too much water there again. Ah, it's hard to get used to things when you're used to other ways. <laughs> okay, so just gonna wash it. And you'll see how my brush is moving. I'm just having fun with it and putting a lot of paint. Right now I'm getting to the point every time I put paint on here, before I add more paint, my brush gets to the point where it's pretty much dry. Like I'm going to, here's like the canvas where it's like blank and you'll see like it's hardly anything's going on there. That's to the point where I'm still um, playing with these and still putting it before I get more paint on my brush. Okay, I'm getting back that dark color and I'm gonna start to bring up that dark color from the bottom. I need to put some white uh, water on there. Make it a little bit more liquidier. I'm gonna bring that up. It's a little bit too liquidy. That's okay, we're gonna add some more on it. When your canvas is too wet, um, when you put more paint on it, it doesn't necessarily work so well. This particular um, canvas board as well, like I said, is very, um, it doesn't soak up the water at all. Other canvas, like actual canvas, will soak it up a little bit, as it will with your paint. Um, so this will not do that. So just trying to be cognizant of that. I'm just mixing it and I'm trying just to get a nice flow of it. The areas that I have too much water on, um, the paint, it doesn't, it just kind of looks like dirty water. So I'm not really um, digging that too much yet. So trying to build the rest of this with less water if I can. I'm trying to be cognizant every time I do go back for a little bit of water, I'm only getting a very little bit on my brush. So on this board, it seems that a little bit of water goes quite a long way. Okay, and I'm just gonna get to this corner here. Okay, so as you can see what I've done is I've tried to maintain the darker blues in the corners. I've kept the middle part lighter and my paint strokes are like all over the place. Um, and that's what I want. I don't want um, I don't want everything to be sweeping in one direction or another. I want them to kind of just be all over the place crazy. Okay, so I'm going to build it a little bit more. It is actually a little bit darker in this zone. So I'm going to put some more blue and pull that darker color a little bit further in. I'm not going to go too far in this side from what I can see. I'm just going to bring that here, just bring it up a little bit. This one's going to be so much fun when we get to the, I'm really excited about putting all the, um, um, the little flowers in later. Like that's the part I'm looking most forward to in this painting. How about you guys? What do you, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your, um, things that you're excited about in the comments, please, please add them. I'd love to read that. And if you're joining in as well, um, please, I would love to see your works of art that you're creating along with me. Um, that's one of my most favorite part about doing these is seeing what 
you have created and your experiences creating alongside with me. So I'm just going in and still continuing this kind of crazy swirly. I guess the, the, the motion I'm doing, I guess, most is I am kind of doing more of like a sweepy, almost framing where it's going to be really bright. So I am doing that a little bit. So all my lines are kind of, I'm trying to um, not do that. So I'm going back over and I'm realizing that I'm doing that pretty naturally. Um, you may or may not be doing that. It depends. So just see what, how the lines are going. And if you're digging it, do it. If you're not digging it, don't do it. And again, I'm, I'm continuing to use um, all the paint that's on my brush until there's like, until the brush is pretty much dry. Um, and then I'll go back and put a little bit of water and then I'm gonna just sweep some of that in. Okay. All right, so that's, we got a nice background here now. So that's where our lantern's gonna be primarily. We're gonna have some nice um, colors going in and we're actually gonna put some of that in right now. Um, so what we're going to do is, hmm, do I want to keep, okay, so now I'm just debating whether I want to keep the same brush and put in the yellow. So my strategy with that is we're going to want to build up the yellow and it's going to become kind of a green yellow along the sides. And I think that's going to look really nice. I'm actually going to change my brush and I'm going to move to my medium brush because I want the lines and the brush strokes on it to be a little smaller than this um, larger brush that I have. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just um, taking off the um, paint on my big brush. Um, I don't like to leave my brushes um, soaking in the water. I'm not sure if um, that's like worse for them or better for them for them to stay in water, but I like, I like to basically rinse them off and then let them kind of have their, just dry while they're it's not perfectly clean at this point, obviously, because I just, I'm just going to turn that a bit so you can see my face a little bit. Ooh. All right. So, medium, medium guy. It's a little bit later in the day and the sun's coming out a little bit. Oh, it's now my forehead's really bright. This camera recording, but that's cool. All right. So, as I've been talking and switching things around, it's gotten a little bit drier in there, which is nice. Um, so, I'm going to get my medium brush and I am going to start. Hmm. I'm gonna start thinking about where I want this lantern to be. So my lantern is going to be pretty big. It's gonna be pretty much right in this space right here. So I'm gonna just plot out in white. So I put white on my brush. The center, because the center of it is white and then it kind of goes out into a yellow color. So I'm gonna just put in, and when you do this, if your painting is still pretty wet there, it's not going to be pure white. It's going to be kind of a yellow, a yellow, sorry, a blue, like a blue's going to take over your white a bit. So I'm just going to kind of plot in where I want that white to be. And now I'm going in and grabbing yellow and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, uh, my canvas is still um, a little wet. So what's happening is um, it's not fully covering the blue. In fact, um, the blue's mixing in a little bit. Um, so right now I know I'm, I'm going to want to go back for sure and give it more of a pure yellow later on. Um, okay, so I'm just following the, maybe more pure yellow in the middle, a bit more yellow up here. Okay. And when I'm painting, I'm putting quite a, like I'm dabbing my brush in the yellow and then I'm doing like little touch strokes and building it further out from the center um, to give my lantern shape ish. And again, I'm just blocking it in with the color right now. Um, Maybe we should have actually just like outlined where we wanted the lantern, but I didn't do that. So there we go. So I'm going to go back in with my white and I'm just going to put a little bit of white in here. Um, okay. 
So now I, I kind of still want this exterior to still have um, blue in it. Um, and so as we can see in the painting, um, the light shines and the yellow um, kind of goes down. So there's like a little thing that hangs off that lantern. So I want to start blocking in where that light is shining. And I want my paint behind it to still be a little wet because then it will blend in nicely with the, uh, the yellow and it will give a nice, a nice reflective kind of look in the night sky. So now I want to just build this outwards. And again, as I'm painting, right now it's not the way I want it to look, just so you guys know. Now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, what the hell's going on? So if you're feeling that way, that's totally cool. Um, so I'm just kind of I'm dabbing my brush in the yellow and I'm doing small kind of X's as I'm going over the blue area and blending kind of my yellow glob into the, the nether sky regions. Okay, so and like I said, it's not exactly, this isn't, this is not the way it's going to finish. So let's keep that in mind as we're going through. I'm actually grabbing some blue as I'm going to, and I want to just put in a little bit. Um, so I'm not grabbing the blue and starting in the center because that will end up messing that up. I'm kind of grabbing that dark blue and doing it on the edges and blending it a little bit into the background with little kind of X type strokes as I'm going through here. Okay, and that's picking up every time I do this X type stroke, it's picking up that yellow green or yellowish paint and kind of making it into a bit of a green and then it's also blending it nicely into the background because the background is still a little damp too so some of the darker blue is mixing it in and it's doing it in a really like natural I don't know, natural <laughs> I'm not sure sometimes I don't know I'm someone who talks all the time um so sometimes my words make sense and sometimes they absolutely don't and that's what you're going to get when you watch my shows. <laughs> so if you don't like that, then this is not, not the right thing for you, I got to say. But if you're okay with it, then we can be friends. Um, all right. So I'm just going to continue. Okay. And again, I want, I'm trying, I'm capturing... I'm doing my best to capture this, the essence of what um, my inspiration image is. At the same time, I don't want it to be exactly the same. So I am pretty happy with the feeling I'm creating with it. I've realized that my um, my preference for me is I like a lot of little bursts of color and I like it to be pretty concentrated. I, I like that pop. I like how that looks. I'm not so much into blending it out too much. Um, I might even go back in here with a thinner brush and put in some more little dabs of, of bright color. And to me, that's the most fun thing about painting is, is playing with the color. That, that's what I love the most about this, um, more than trying to create what an image is supposed to look like. I just love playing with color. That is what makes me super happy. So just be cautious when you are using some dark color as you get, like this one ventured a little bit too close to my middle, so I'm gonna stop with my brush because it's just gonna keep making it to it's not gonna work for me so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stop before I mess that up and I'm gonna go back in once um, that area is a bit drier and bring back the white and kind of bring back the yellow and, and cover that up a little bit because I, I, I don't like the way that is right now okay oh I almost I think I, I ran out of black already that's surprising it's not that's not normal for me okay so all right, I think, I think I'm digging that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add 
I don't know if I really, yeah, I will need black in a little bit anyway, so I will put more black on there. Strange, that's the most black I've used <laughs> in a painting in a while. Okay, so I'm just, um, what I'm doing on my palette is I'm grabbing my brush. It still has that blue and, and yellow and all that. And I'm just like wiping it down on here because I want it to still kind of have the color on it, but I want most of it to go away. And I'm going to get a lot of yellow and I'm going to go back and just touch this up. And I'm going to do the same thing, take off a lot of the color, get white, and bring that in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I've got more white on my brush, and I'm just doing little, like, little X's. The pretty, the pretty light of the lantern into the sky. Kind of reminds me of like how things look. My glasses are a little bit dirty. Everything's a little blurry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, need to clean my glasses. Okay. Just put a bit of yellow and I'm just mixing this outwards. And a little crisscrosses all around. Kind of cool to watch it in a video because I kind of I see kind of spots that I would like to touch up. Sometimes when you're too close to a painting, it's hard to know what you what you're liking or not liking about it. So I'm kind of digging that. Okay, and I'm trying to just keep. Um, the colors in the background, so I'm trying to uh, put a little bit of blue on again, just so I can keep this bottom here. Okay, black, pretty crazy. Ah, scary. Never put black. I'm a rebel. Get some black on my brush. Not scary. Okay. So just play with it, touch it up, have fun with it. I don't want to put too much black actually because then when I put other things on top, you might not be able to see it. There's going to be black paint outlining things. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. White and black are crazy. They get, they, they're so powerful. I'm going to just water down a little bit. And, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of messed it up. Okay. You'll hear me say that a lot. <laughs> As I'm going on, I'm always like, oh, I think I messed it up. So if you're feeling that way, it's it's totally normal. <laughs> and and you're not. <laughs> you're absolutely not. All right. Okay. So I think I yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Awesome. So when we put the lantern in, um, we're going to outline it with black. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make the yellow a little bit more solid on the inside of the lantern. And then we might have to go back and like touch up that black line of the um, lantern afterwards. Um, and I think we're, I would like to do that now, but it's super wet and that's not going to be our friend. So we're going to not do that right now, but what we're going to do is I'm going to just clean off my medium sized brush because I want to move and use my thinner brush to start. I don't know. I could use my thicker brush to put in the branch of that tree. So it really depends on, on the size of canvas that you're using with the size canvas. Um, I, to me, I, I could use my medium sized brush, grab the black and start walking in where I want the tree branches. And now that I'm talking through it, that is what I'm going to do. If you have a smaller size canvas, you want to move to a smaller size brush. You might already have been using a smaller one just because it depends. And, and, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're using a larger canvas, you, um, your brush sizes are, should reflect kind of that and, and just use what feels comfortable. Okay, so, so the branch in this particular one, it starts off kind of at the top, maybe about if you were going to split this paper 
into six even strips, it's like one sixth of it. That's kind of where it starts. And we're gonna, I haven't, I, don't, I haven't put anything on her yet. I'm, I'm just, just talking. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it in and the branch is quite, it's not just like a straight sweet branch. It, it has a little bit of, of nooks and crannies. So as, you're, as we're gonna bring that black paint down, we're going to like kind of give it some, give it some oomph. And it's gonna come down and then it's gonna come up. And then the end of it, I think on this one, it ends very thinly. So what, that's why I, I'm like hesitant of using this medium sized brush, because I know with a thinner brush, I have more control over those nice little ends. So what I might actually do is I might not bring that branch all the way over until the end. I might stop about where it's still pretty thick. And then I might go back and use my thin brush to get the smaller wisps of the, the branches which again, as I'm talking about it, sounds like what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm going to just wet that brush a little bit and I'm gonna get some black paint. When you're using black paint and you're blocking things in like this, it is good to water it down a bit. Um, not too much, it's too watery. Um, it's, it doesn't, uh, doesn't hold onto the canvas at all. Um, so you still want it to have quite a bit of paint but a bit more water makes it more viscose. So it just like go, glides on your canvas a lot easier. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna start off on the top. Okay, and then as I'm going, and I'm gonna be cautious because again, this canvas is not my friend with water and I feel like it's gonna just start dripping. Okay, and I'm gonna go until the, the there. There's so much water, it's like a big blob. Okay, so there we go. That's kind of my first line there. It also then from here kind of comes out and it goes down. So I'm gonna plot that in. And I'm gonna stop about there because again, it um, gets pretty thin. And then the other branch kind of goes all the way down and around. I need a bit more paint on my brush. Make sure it is smooth and there's quite a bit of water again. I need to get that in. And it, it it's like curvy, so it kind of comes around and then it's gonna come down and then it's gonna like frame where our lantern's going to be. So <laughs> I keep like I have my picture on my computer screen, which is why I'm going back and forth. All right, let's do it. I always I always get a little nervous. Okay, so we're gonna bring it down. And it's gonna come back around. And I just lost some of my paint. We're gonna go back. And we're gonna come down. My line stopped being so smooth, and I do not like it when it's not smooth. Um, I want it to have kind of like little like knots in it, but I don't want the line to not be smooth. Okay, and I'm going to stop about there, and I'm going to add more to it, but I get I want to use my thinner brush for that. Um, and I think I'm going to move to my thinner brush right now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I want to just bring that up all the way to the top. Oh, that was that was not a smart idea to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring it up here. Okay, no, that's like too much water on that little glob, and now it just braced <laughs> All right, I'll wait a little bit and I'll add it back with my thinner brush. Okay, thinner brush, I'm getting a little bit of water on it. I'm getting the black paint. I'm getting quite a bit of black paint on my thin brush. You want to keep a lot of paint on there um, because then again, it allows you to spread it easier. And so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go with this one and I'm going to bring this out and up into like a thinner line here. Okay, and then we have another one coming this way. And it kind of goes up like this too. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, this also kind of comes out a little bit there and you can do it however, which way you want. Um, okay. Um, I find too, sometimes you want it to be thinner. It actually does 
work better if you start your line where you want it to end and then bring it towards your branch. Um, so this one, I did that way. And then we're gonna have this come up like this because the branches are kind of funky. Okay, and then we have a thinner one that comes out this way. I'm gonna crick up and kind of puts behind like that. All right, cool. I like it. All right, so now we're just going to keep putting in our branches. And you can do it however, which way you want. And just said we're gonna have them come out a little bit up like this. And this one's gonna go off the page or off your canvas. Mine is kind of on the page though, so bring that in. And I know we have some flowers there, which looks really pretty. This is actually going to go off too. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to have this come out. Where do we want it to go out into? So more or less, where we end these lines, or are we going to put? We're going to where we are going to put our flowers. Okay, so if the ends aren't perfect, it's okay because you can pop a flower on there and it will clean it up and make it look beautiful. So don't stress too much if the ends of your brush does like it doesn't or the branches don't look exactly the way you would want them to. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to certain things, so I have to kind of keep reminding myself about those <laughs> things as well. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. Um, okay. I always put my hand down on my canvas and it's not the smartest thing to do. But I do it and I don't think I'm going to stop. I'm a rebel. What can I say? Awesome. And remember to add like some little twiggies. Uh, you can always go back later after we put the flowers in and then add more details. So keep that in mind too. I just want to put in more or less the main ones and then we can um, go back in and add some more. Um, and then we have another branch. It's going to come on this way. And that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep adding them. And this is a little wet still down here, so I'm gonna leave that. And your lantern is attached to this branch up here. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, and it's going to be kind of centered there, which is cool. Okay, and then this branch here, also have it coming out down and this one goes behind your lantern head Oof. um it continues on the side and it goes almost like off the page and it try to keep your lines um like this one I made was was is pretty straight um, try to remember that like branches are a little creaky and crooked. Keep that in mind as you're dragging your paintbrush along. They're not super straight, usually. Okay, and there's little knots in them too sometimes. Well, I should just come up and then we're gonna pop this to there. Okay.
All right, so we got the one that goes kind of behind the lantern. We can always touch it up as when after we put our lantern in. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna bring this line down. So it's gonna come down. And it's going to go out here. Out here. And we're just gonna add some more branches. And remember to make them a little crooked and weird and fun. Have fun with the branches. It doesn't have to be exactly as it is. All um, I would suggest doing is keep in mind that we're trying to use these branches to frame our lantern. So I would suggest having some that kind of like, you know, so like it, it kind of goes like around it, right? So try not to have ones that are always veering away. Make sure there's some that are kind of like giving it a nice frame and that will give your, um, it will just give some balance to your image, I think. <laughs> Honestly, every time I say something, I'm like, I, I, that, that's what I feel like is the right thing to do. Some of these are a little thin, so I'm just going to thicken some of the branches up because some are a bit thicker than that, so I'm just going to do that a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so I think I am where, right now it looks really creepy <laughs> when there's no flowers on it. It's like a really spooky image. It's, it's pretty fun. Okay, so now let's start putting in where we're going to put our lantern. So our lantern's gonna be pretty much centered right in the here, right? We're gonna have this nice little, um, it's like a triangle we're gonna put in um, right at the top here, and that's going to connect to that, right? So let's put in the triangle for the top part, the hat, I guess, of our lantern. So just give it a triangle. Don't be shy. Mine's a, I'm a little shy, so I didn't touch my branches, but that's okay, because I'll just make my branches go behind my little lantern hat afterwards. Okay, so we got that going. Okay, and I'm going to then it kind of crosses around the bottom here. So pop in your lantern hat. Okay, and go ahead and start filling in that triangle with your black paint. If you want to switch back and use um, a thicker brush, feel free. I think I'm just going to continue on with my thinner brush. Sometimes I find it weirdly like satisfying to paint small areas with like a small brush or larger areas with a small brush. I just put some water on my brush so it um, drags the paint a little bit more and thins it out. It's like easier to spread. You're going to go in and put some details in here afterwards, but we want the paint to be covering here to give you that little hat for your lantern. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect, it's all good. Okay, so, okay. so your lantern has like these little, it kind of comes up a little bit, like little crooks. I'm just gonna add those in right now. Mines were a little bent out of shape, so not like super matchy matchy. <laughs> anyway, so that's fine. Okay, and um, I want to just 
make this a little bit deeper. I should not have done that actually. Okay. I want my point to move more to the middle. So basically what I just did here was um, I didn't like where my middle of my triangle was. So I just built it out a little bit to shift the point a little bit over. We'll see if that was the right move afterwards. Okay. Now I'd like this line, that line to be pretty straight. Uh, mine's not at the moment, so I'm just going to go in and pull it down a little bit so it's a little straighter. And also not really showing my canvas below it. Okay, so I'm happier with that. Okay, all right, we're good for now <laughs> until I decide something else is not the way I want it. Okay. I'm gonna put in my, there's like a little circle here. That like, I guess, hooks the lantern to the top. Okay. And then it's held on by like a string. So we're gonna make sure I have enough paint on my brush and that it's liquidy enough that it's going to bring it all the way up. So I'm gonna just bring it up. Oh yeah, my canvas moves down. Awesome. All right. Okay. So now breathe. I tend sometimes, I tend not to breathe when I'm doing certain intricate aspects of things. Um, okay. So again, we're going to get more black paint on my brush and we're going to bring this down. So, um, so let me think. I actually, so the bottom of the lantern, right, is about the size of the top part of the um, hat of the lantern. So let's eyeball that and let's put a line in where the bottom of the lantern is going to be. So then you're going to bring the lines and meet it. And that is how I'm going to prefer to do mine. That line is not going to be as long, it's going to be smaller because it's going to come into more of a point. Okay. And then let's um, bring out the lantern. So the lantern. The line basically starts, so you have like your little hook and it's a, just a little bit in, so it's like a, uh, it depends how big your canvas is actually. Um, and now let, let's just eyeball it and let's just pop it in. So it's gonna be a little fatter. I'm going to come on in and I need, my brush is, um, I need to put some more water on it. So I'm just gonna do that. That's how mine's going to look. Okay. And I'm going to do the other side and do the same type of thing. Oh, I hate doing it on the other side because it's never, it never ends up being exactly what I want it, but that's okay. Okay. Um, so we're just going to bring it down and around. And you can meet that line. Like that. Um, all right, so just took a little quick break there. Um, so I've put in, I didn't do anything else but painting, I just got caught with family thing. So my lantern, as you can see, is not perfect. It's a little wonky wonky, but that is okay. And I'm going to embrace the imperfections and keep going. So uh, I just put some more water and put some more black paint on my brush because I um, stopped for a moment there. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is, um, just look back a little bit and see what I want to do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just add this to make it a little thicker, give it a nice little base here. Okay. Little base. And then I'm going to there's, um, it kind of like goes down, like there's like a thin line that goes down and around. 
that. Cool. And then just the, again, we kind of continue these little curvies here and here. Okay. And then there is a right in the center here, there is a circle, and that circle goes um, around <laughs> like a circle is. Okay. I guess it's just like a little end part of the lantern, and it, it has a little tassel y thing at the end. Okay. So there's a little circle. And then there's another littler, smaller circle just below it. Like that. And then we're going to put in um, the tassel type things that we have going on here. So they just drop down and they're kind of free form and they are pretty neat actually. Okay, so we're just going to Pop them in whichever way you are digging. Okay, and I'm making sure they're not all ending, um, they're all ending, should I say, at like different spots so they're not all just stopping um all the same because then it would it would look very it wouldn't look very dynamic that way all right and so and they're kind of curving in towards each other okay and i want one more on this side i think i'm gonna cross in front of it actually Okay, I'm just I'm just changing up some of my lines and making some of them a little thicker. So play with that as you will, or as you wish, I should say. Okay. Okay, and just remember that if you need the paint to be a little bit easier to spread, just add a little bit of water. To it and then it'll be a lot easier to do that. Okay. So that's kind of what I've done. I added more than what was in the original image. That's how mine looks but you can do it any which way. And again, it goes right on top of that lighter um, yellowy white that we had built in there. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I want to make inside this lantern um, a touch, um, I don't know actually. Initially I wanted to make it a bit more solid, but now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like the feeling of what I created before and I don't know if I really want to touch it up. So before I touch on that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the white and some of the black and we are going to put in some of the lines in the, um, the lantern um, to give it a little bit of feeling, I suppose. Um, so there's just some lines that go across here. So I'm just putting in some gray and I'm going back and getting some black and then just like going back and forth here just to give it a little bit of depth ish. Okay, same on the top here. I don't really like the way my brush is feeling. So sometimes um, I put too much paint or I mix it up. So I, I just kind of flattened out my, my brush. Now it's really thin and it's thick there and it's a bit thinner. And it actually feels, I can just feel it and it feels a lot better now. Um, so I'm going to go back with the brush feeling like that now. And put in those 
line. So it kind of comes across. Okay, and I just need a little bit of water. Okay. When I'm doing something too detailed, apparently I can't talk the way I normally do. <laughs> All right. So I just, and then on the side here on the little hat, it also, there's a little bit of lines here just to. Make it look a bit more rounded. Okay. And the same thing on this if I have a little like touch. Okay. Don't be shy with it. Um, I like that. Okay, it kind of has that feel. Nice. Okay. Now what I did below there, I'm not really a fan of. I'm getting some black and just, I'm just going over with the black to tone it down. And then I'll go back and touch it up afterwards when it's toned down a bit. I'm just gonna add this, um, I've just done on top here and just kind of give it a little, with the circle. Okay, a little bit of white. And I'm just adding a little bit of, just touching some of the lines that I made here and just putting a bit of that gray in. And I'm letting it be kind of feathered. So I'm, I'm, I, I like that texture with it. It just softened it. And I think that's what I want on it. So let me just, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take that gray as well. And I'm going to touch the loop as a little bit too. And I'm also going to touch this line here. I'll leave around this tree branch and I'll just give it a little bit of yeah that's what I want okay so that is what I've done so you can see on the top of the hat I've put that in you'll see the circle and the line there I just added a little bit of texture to that and at the bottom I also did I put some gray in that black as well and on the two little circles just to give it a little bit of um on shape. Okay, so that's cool. So um, with this gray, so what I did was I just put um, some white, same gray that I've just used um, for uh, what I literally just did. Um, I'm getting some more on my brush, making sure there's some paint, uh, water, sorry, on the paint, just so it's nice and smooth. And with the branches, as you can see, um, we're going to touch it a bit. Wherever light's going to touch it is where you're going to put in um, a little bit of this gray on the, the thicker branches. So on this branch here, so this branch is definitely has light on it. So we don't want it to be like, a, 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 again, a very hard line. Remember, the branch has texture, so it might be broken up and that's fine. So let's just start and let's just put in a little bit of, and I'm doing like little sweeps with my brush. And that's just going to give it a bit of a, a highlight. So this whole part here, this branch definitely has a little bit of, of light going on. And even with the thinner branches, just 
touch it a little bit with your gray and that will add some nice dimension to it. Okay. Okay, and over here as well, this has some on it, but again, it's more on the curve that's facing the light. It's gonna have a bit. On this branch too, there's gonna to be some on the lower branches because the light has hit it a little bit here. Okay, and here, and it touched it a little bit here. In here, in here, in here a bit. I don't think I touched those ones though. No, I did not. See? Okay, makes sense. So we're gonna just touch it lightly. You can't really see. So that's why I did with the branches there. So I just put a little bit of gray and look how it just changes it. It's weird because when you put it on, you're like, ah, what am I doing? But then it actually makes um, it all pop. And this one as well, this branch here. Oh, uh, don't move. This one definitely has some. There we go. So, um, not bad. And I'm gonna put a little bit on this far branch here as well, because it's in the distance, but it's still a little bit of light hit it right along here. And along here. So it's gonna show up a little bit. Not as much as the other ones, right? I like that actually, I think that's good. Okay, and I think I want that branch to be a little thicker, so I'm actually going to thicken this one up a little bit because I want this to be a bit thicker. And I want it to go behind this guy here. Okay, make it pure black. It absolutely touched my little hat and we don't want that to happen. Okay, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> so I thought about it and I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow um, into my lantern to make it a bit more of a solid light, but I'm gonna be cognizant. I don't want it to be like super, super crazy because I like what I've done here, but I do want it to have a bit more, almost like, so we know the light is within the boundary. It's like, of this. so it's definitely more concentrated within this black, line of the lantern. So I'm just adding some yellow and I'm just going to bring it in. There's quite a bit of um, water on my paintbrush as I'm doing this and I'm mixing it in and I'm using like little sweeps like I did before, like little X's, but it mixes in a bit nicer. I put some white. So on my brush, I didn't clean off my brush that much from before. So a little bit of the, the grays coming in and I actually don't mind that too much because it's keeping it mixed a bit here. So I'm just going in. Oh, I did mind that though. That was a little, a little too much gray. Okay. So I'm just Blending that in. I'm back and forth with my yellow. I don't want it to be like super crazy, crazy yellow. I don't want it to be a lot of white. I don't want it to be very gray. 
So I do want to give the idea that this um, light is coming from the source. Um, and then by doing that, it'll break up it from the background, which right now it looks a little bit odd that the inside of the light looks the same as the background. And that's, that was where I was kind of coming from. But I'm not changing too much about it. I'm just kind of creating almost like a border with this yellow um, that runs parallel to the black line. Okay. And don't stress if you get some on the black line or if it goes a little bit rogue, that's okay because guess what? You can get black paint and you can fix it up. So it's all good. I'm just going back and forth a bit. I'm getting some more white. Never get too much gray. I'm realizing too, the reason why I'm getting so much gray is because um, my, my water is quite dirty and it's uh, covered in black paint. So. But like I said, I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of enjoying it um, in this light. So I'm going, I'm just cross hatching again. I don't know if again, I don't know if that's the right term. Going like getting some yellow, getting some white, and making like little X's as I'm going with my brush. Going back and getting some paint, which would be a little bit gray again. I don't have that much that time. And I do like, I like to see the strokes of my brush a lot. So um, I'm going to keep that as it is. I'm just going to do the same thing at the bottom here because again, it looks too similar to the background and I want people to know that the light is actually coming from this lantern. Okay. I'm just giving it kind of like a border and then building it upwards. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the top. Um, the top's not as bad because the hat actually produces that feeling, which is great. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back in and just put in this white in here. Let me just clean off my brush a little bit more because it's still showing um, quite a bit of black, so I don't want that. I just want this to remain this like pure, as pure white as possible in here. Okay, and I still want to build out this yellow from here. All right, I think I'm almost where I want to be with this. This side was a little harsh. I didn't really like that as much. So I had too, a little bit too much um, gray was showing up on that and I didn't like that. So I'm just softening that a bit. Okay. So just uh, keep working on it until you are happy with the way it is. If you are happy with it, just give me a moment while I touch this up and then we will move on. Okay, so this is where I'm at with mine. Let me just show you close up. I don't know if you can see the texture of it. Let's see, get a good vibe. So I don't, yeah, I don't know, you can't really tell the texture of it too much, um, but I have it really yellow and then Yellow is kind of on, like it's kind of giving a border to it, so it does look like the light is emanating it, and the, everything around it, I think, makes so it's a little bit nicer into the background now. I might still want to make this a bit softer into the background too. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the lines of my. Do I want to do that yet? Actually, yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to put in the lines of the um, lantern in right now. Oh, you know what I want to do actually first is I just want to touch up and just put in that line that I ended up taking out because I didn't like the way that looked initially. So I'm just going to get some gray back. 
make it kind of a light gray with my black and my white. I need some water too. Okay, make it nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to put in a few lines in. Okay. And that's that. I do want to add a little bit of black actually to the bottom. It doesn't really have like a solid ending there, and I want it to be like that. Okay, cool. So now let's grab our black and we're going to put in the idea idea of like the kind of hatch that gets nose all the way to the top um, or doesn't like connect fully and that's ooh, so we want to give that impression of having those grids but they're not um, solid okay um, so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to have it come up from the top here I'm going to bring it almost down to the bottom um, and I'm just going to make sure that I have a good amount of black paint I'm just wetting it down a little bit so it's smooth I don't really want to go over this line again. I want it just to, just to be, see that didn't do the way I wanted it to. That's really thick. <laughs> okay. We're just going to go with it. Okay. That's my thick ass line. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we're going to do the same type of thing on this side, only I'm not going to go as high and I'm not going to go as low, but I'm still going to give it a curved line. That. Okay. And then um, there is a line in the middle. Okay. And we're going to, it's going to start like not all the way up, but it's just going to start about there. I'm just going to stop about there. Sure, sure it is. Okay, and then um, let's put in so this top line curves slightly and it goes across um, the two lines we just put in, and then across the top of the, the middle line. So let's put that in. Okay, like that. And then bottom line does the same type of thing but it actually crosses uh, all three lines just a little bit on the there great and then I do want to take that though okay and then we're gonna put in the middle line and the middle line um, just goes in the middle like this kind of stops and then it continues a little bit like on the side there. Awesome. So it just gives that impression of those lines. So that's how my lines look. Okay. It looks very cartoonish right now, which I like more than I thought I was going to. I, I tend to do that. I tend to do it and then I'm like, oh, and then I look at it again and I'm like, oh. All right, I, I can do this, this is cool. Okay, cool. So we have our lantern, our lantern's pretty much done. So now I'm really excited to do the flowers. It's gonna be so fun. That's just, this is, really good. This is what's gonna make our painting go from creepy Halloween tree to like pretty um, moonlight niceness. Um, I might still like, I kind of still wanna go back in here and blend out my yellow and my background a little bit. I think I'm probably still gonna go back and do that because um, it's bothering me, but for the time and everything else. Let's just go in right now and let's pop in those um, lovely, lovely little flowers. So what we're gonna need for the flowers is we need our white paint. Um, you know what, if you wanna make them any color you want, go nuts. Um, I'm actually thinking, I'm gonna start with white, but I might add a little bit of red and make some pink as well. So let's start with the white. So I'm getting, quite a bit of paint on my thin brush, um, but I'm also just bringing it out so I have more control of the way the brush paints. So there's a lot of 
paint on this brush, but I've um, tried to make it a little bit thinner. And the way I've done that is basically I'm just bringing the brush away from the paint. And as I'm doing that, I'm just taking out the paint from the brush as I'm going. So I'm kind of like pushing it down. So now there's just like less paint on the brush. Um, and then I'm just re-adding the paint where I want it to be. Okay. And then, so for these, so these little flowers are little five pointed, cute little flowers. So start with whichever ever you want. Um, and then we'll just build from there. They're all similar in size. Um, so I'm actually going to start down here and they are basically like a star, star shapes. Um, so I'm going to put in the top here, and then I'm going to bring this up here, and then up here, and then up there, and then up there. So there's my first flower. It's a little star shape, doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want them to be um, very as opaque as possible, so very white. Um, make sure the lines are as crisp as possible. Um, and just add them wherever you want to add them. And how, and also I, I say too, just be cognizant so they're not all like facing the same direction because that would be a little odd. So some of my water ends up being my paint, sorry, my brush. There we go. I want it to be as um, solid as possible. Okay. I'm going to pop around my canvas a bit because I find what has happened in, in past is if I always work on one section and then move, sometimes either my, my flowers end up changing as I'm going. Either I'm, I get more comfortable with them um, or um, I get more lazy with them. But I don't want, I want all the flowers to be similar all over the place. So if you are kind of doing this whole one section, you're really focused on it and you get bored and you start just putting in whatever, the flowers are gonna look weird. <laughs> so pop around on your um, canvas. So now I'm gonna pop up a pier and I'm gonna put in one right here. Okay, so that's a nice little flower right there. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put another one right here. Get some more water. Not flowing the way I want it to flow. That one's so cute. Okay. Um, put another one right here. This one I'm gonna make a little smaller. And it's okay if they're not perfect because they're flowers and they're not all gonna have the exact look on all of them either. Um, keep that in mind. Okay. I'm gonna pop over to the other side and start putting some over here. Okay. 
Now for me, I'm trying to keep my canvas in the same spot so you can kind of see it as I'm working on it. Um, but feel free, like, like grab it and like move it around, flip it upside down and, and put in your flowers as you're going. What I'm finding is as I'm getting to like my third point, my brush tends to lose the viscosity, viscosiousness. Um, so feel free to make sure you're getting enough paint on your brush so that you still have that feeling. Okay. Um, as you'll notice too, there's some little spots where um, there's no flower yet. So maybe there's just some buds happening. So let's pop some of those in. Okay. And I'm just gonna add a little more. Oof, that brush was not ready for a flower. I don't want this to be super big. Things are being kind of big, but that's okay. Okay. Actually, adding those little dots, I like them a lot. I think they add quite a bit to the painting. Okay, cool. Let's just keep putting in our flowers. This is a time consuming part, but it will really add to your. And you can, like, try to be as really detailed as you want, but really you can just get five nice brush strokes in and then that's your flower. So you get like one, two, three, four, five. You got your flower. This painting actually reminds me of um, a painting I did for a friend of mine. Um, and it was one of the first paintings I did um, where I actually gave away my painting to someone because that's not something I, I do. <laughs> I'm very uh, um, possessive of the paintings that I had to make. Um, and it was for a girl that I worked with, her name is Stephanie. Um, and she had asked me to do like cherry blossoms on like a three canvas set for her. Um, and she wanted to pay me and I like refused <laughs> payment. <laughs> Cause I, I, I never think I'm good enough for someone to actually want to like pay me for my paintings. I have like uh, complexes like that, I suppose. Um, and I, yeah, it was really fun to do. I found that it really challenged me. It was out of my comfort zone. Um, and it turned out really nice. I was really proud of it. And I, I remember she sent me a, a picture of where she had put the, uh, the painting in our place. And um, yeah, it was, it was really exciting. I was like, wow, like that's, that's awesome. Someone likes my painting, so cool. So just adding a bit. Um, cool. I'm liking the way this is going. What else do we got here? We got some little leaves that are kind of just floating-ish around here. Okay, I like that. I like that. And there's some more that are coming here. Another one over here. Another one over here too. Bet you didn't know that. So I'm just adding some because in the image, which I quite like, it has some like petals kind of like falling and they just add a little bit more to the image, which I think is very lovely. Okay. 
All right, so let's keep adding. So here we've got some more little dots there. Cool. I'm going to put some more here. I like that. Let's go two. Okay, great. Okay. I'm going to add some over here. My brush has a lot of white paint on it and I want the paint to stay more on the end of my brush, not in the middle of my brush. I'm just adding a few little dots. This one I'm actually going to have to turn into <laughs> a little baby flower. Okay. I'm just putting some more paint on my tip of the brush. Okay. Awesome. And then, oh, I haven't even touched that one yet. Oh, I did not follow my direction. Talking about making sure I get all over the place and I did not get it here at all. All right here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put another one here. It's gonna be off the edge there. Awesome. I'm going to be off the edge too. And then I want to put one right here. Okay, and then another one right here. Okay. And I'm going to put a few more of those little buds in. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to put one more right here. That's all right. Cool. And I'm going to put a few of those little buds. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. There's some that are just floating down. Awesome. Okay. So we're almost done here. We only have, I would say, you can kind of work as much as you want and go crazy if you want. So that's where mine's at. I have all the lovely little flowers, which look so, 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 so pretty. Okay. So now what you need to do now is if you look um, in the middle of the flower, there's going to be a little bit of yellow right in the center. So we're going to grab my thin brush again, get some paint on the end, and we're going to 
flock some yellow in the middle of each flower. And that's, and that's literally what I'm doing. I'm just going and oh, putting a little bit of yellow in the middle of the flower. Some of the bigger ones are getting a little bit more. And it's a little thick on some, but that is okay. And I like that. So we're going to keep going. Okay. Oh, that one was still wet. That one did not stick. Okay. <laughs> I totally said I was going to do some pink flowers too, and I have not done that. I might go back in and add some, I don't know yet. Okay, I need to go back to that one actually. Put that there. Okay, so I got yellow in the center of all my flowers. Okay, so let me show you that. Oh shoot, I don't even know if you can see. Oh, you can see from back there a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So I got just a little dot of yellow in all the flowers, and that just kind of brings it up. So pretty much we're done at this point. So that's that's the beautiful image. So we got that going. Um, I do want to lighten this up a little bit. I am going to do that. I'm going to put some blue and some yellow and get some water. And I do want to, no, I need a darker. I need a more blue. I want this not to be coming out so strongly on this side. I feel like it's a little much. It's probably a mistake to go back at this point and try to darken this, but I'm doing it anyways, because that is what I do. Okay. Play with the fire. Well, worst case scenario, I might have to like, I might get rid of that one flower and then like put him back in. Okay. Yeah, I already like that it's already darker, even though I don't like the way the texture of the paint is looking right yet. Yeah, but I do like that it's darker. It's more what I want. Just added some more yellow. So that's it. Like, whenever you're doing something, like, again, this is paint. Like, you let it dry, and guess what? You can paint right back over it and try something else. When it's wet, that's where it's not really going to be a, your friend as much because uh, things will blend and um, if you're not so comfortable with it you might feel like you're making it worse but if you feel that way stop either work on another section of it or just walk away for a moment and let it dry and then come back to it and fix it up with canvas well, i mean with acrylic um, there's some really great things you can do while the paint is still wet, um, but there's also a lot you can do once the paint is dry, so it's very versatile in that way. Um, I really like working with acrylics. I'm a little close to that, but I think that worked. Um, I think it's a love-hate relationship. Okay, so I just added a little bit more lines on this side and darkened it up a bit, which I like more. Um, and there we go. That's what I did on that side. You can see. I just kind of darkened it a bit because um, it was a little too bright. And I'm digging it. And I might end up doing it on the other side as well. Um, but I'm not going to continue recording this at that point because it's already been a while. Don't forget to sign your name on the bottom. That's always important. And um, there we go. So let's do a side by side. So here is the um, image. Oof. Is that better? I'll go back. Oh, there we go. Ah, nice. So that's the image, the original one there. All right, our inspiration image, if you will. And here is the painting that we've just accomplished. Ta-da! So thank you 
so much for joining me today on uh, Lisa's painting parties. Um, please uh, share with your friends um, and please share um, the lovely paintings that you created as well um, in the comments. I'd love to see them. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.